Welcome back guys to another Warframe video and hopefully I don't mess up here while I'm trying to show you guys this video today but you know I probably might just F up um, but today I wanted to show you a video on Chroma and the Wolf Sledge because I saw actually somebody just do this on uh, they showed this in a Facebook group or it was a probably a video on Facebook anyways but the whole point is basically that uh, I saw this on Facebook and it actually looked really dope and I wanted to try to get a build out of this and show you guys if I could really just put this together and honestly it's actually a good build it's just hard to like rolling guard and then use your Vazarin and then you know it, it's, it's just very freaking difficult because I'm not even that type of player however really good build it's just kind of fun to do it at the same time. It's very hard to keep up with it. And you also have to keep up your... Um, yeah, you also have to keep up your combo multiplier without trying not to die. So, kind of annoying at the same time. But then again, pretty fun. Like I said, pre pretty fun. Alright? And you get the wreck. Like, you get to destroy... Um, a lot of enemies in the long run basically so fucking I just died so alright well let's go ahead and move on to the build so first take a look at Chroma because he is our main Warframe that is being used and he's basically a buff for this weapon so let's go ahead and take a look at Chroma first now you can already see the first ability I have on here is Empower Empower is basically growing power as well alright increases your um strength your ability strength by 50 percent all right growing power is the same thing but however it's 25 percent so obviously like like 25 percent i don't know a couple percentages off anyways move down and then obviously we're going to be using our vex armor all right this increases your damage but when you take damage on health that's where it increases weapon damage so it's insane how this works, and everybody just uses this for um, taking down the Eidolon, and that's really just it. I mean, you know, with a good Rubico build and him, it's just like you're, you're destroying that thing. So here's the build that I'm using, all right, and like I said, growing power, all right, this gives you ability strength by 25% at 4 6 seconds. Which is really good. I also have Coaction Drift on here. And this also increases your aura strength by 50%. And then aura effectiveness. Which nobody, I guess, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, I guess, to the aura. I don't really know what they mean by effectiveness. But I'm guessing just making sure it works. You know, with the description and everything. Uh, so, yeah. It basically just increases your strength. That's all I'm really looking at. I really don't care about the effect in this part. Obviously, we got health. Uh, we got streamline on here for better efficiency so we don't run out of that lane, you know, go down on energy. Prime could continuity for our ability duration. We got rolling guard in here because we just need to roll and make sure we don't die. And then the next part I'm going to be showing you for my operators, uh, the school lens that I'm using. Blind rage for insane strength 99 percent of that but it decreases your efficiency that's what i said that's why i have fleeting expertise on here which also decreases your duration so it's hard to keep up with those all right and then prime flow all right 275 percent energy max so very important mod you can get from barricade tier all right so the arcanes all right arcane energize increases your energy uh, a lot of people who didn't realize this even my friend didn't know this at the time but when you pick up energy, it does not only go to your allies, it also goes to yourself. So, you also get energy. I just want everybody to know that before they feel like they're feeling stupid or whatever. Because uh, honestly, I thought that as well until I started using R. I was just like, man, forget. I'm just going to buy the Arcane and see if we get energy. And it, you know, gives you energy as well. Not even to your allies uh, besides that, but gives you energy to yourself. So, yeah. All right, Arcane Fury. On critical hits, gives percent chance to 180% melee damage for melee weapons. Alright, 18 seconds. 
and very important. I just wanted to throw that in there just to get more melee damage. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's really nothing else that I need to use. I was thinking about using Grace, but honestly, just F it. Like, why not add some damage to it? So, I mean, if you want to switch out for Grace, then, you know, go right ahead. I mean, I'm sure it's a useful mod. Um, you just want to make sure that you're taking damage on health so that you can use your Vex armor. Alright, you want to make sure you increase that damage for it. And that's everything you need to know about this Chroma Prime build. Alright, moving on to the Wolf Sledge build as well. Alright, we have Prime Point Pressure... Prime Pressure Point, I meant. <laughs> um, this is obviously going to increase our damage by a lot. And whatever, honestly, I just decided to just throw it in there. All right, you also have Spoiled Strike as well, all right, to um, increase more damage. It's probably why my attack speed is so slow right now, but that's the whole point of me using attack speed 30% for Gladiator Vice. All right, you also get 10% critical chance per combo multiplier, which I guess is a little bit useful. Condition Overload, honestly, I don't even know why. I just decided to throw this in here. And... I don't know if it's really, really working for this weapon, but however, I guess you guys just let me know in the comments below, but I just throw it in there, alright, because it's 80% melee damage per status type affected the target, so, you know, it does a lot of damage when it comes to status, you know, and, um, it might actually be useful if you use, uh, you know, just now thinking about it, Weeping Wounds would be perfect for this build. So we're going to do a little test. All right, let's just go ahead and do a little test with that. Uh, we also have Blood Rush, all right? 40% critical chance stacks with combo multiplier. This is how you get your uh, red crits and orange crits going. And then Argus Shatter, 90% critical damage. So, you know, we want to get that critical multiplier high as we can. But <laughs> is that really going to work out to our favor? All right, so it's going to be simple and try to make it Hopefully, we don't fail, but first, honestly, just throw down your element elemental ward because make sure you have your red on. Ah, oh, and they got shot down, Edie. <laughs> we got These are level 170, so yeah, this is... All right, let's try to lower it a bit. All right, let's see, like 30? Because there's a lot in here, so I knew he was going to get shot down. Yeah, rolling guard is going to be freaking annoying, but... Okay, so we want to get shot at. We want to get shot at. Okay, there we go. So we got shot at, right? Oh, empower and then that. And then you could throw down that first, probably. All right, and then obviously you need to increase your thingy majigger. But obviously this is just kind of, you know, just hard, <laughs> stupid because they're at level 30. So it's, it's going to be trash. I want to use it, obviously. But you can see big numbers coming out of this as well. As you just saw there. But you need to break up your combo counter first. And then... That's going to be the hardest part about this. But we're going to restart. And we finally got it. So let's go ahead and throw them in there. Yeah, there we go. Now we're using it. Yeah. So we finally got our uh, thing all brought up here, and damage is going insane, so. Alright, and we destroy them. So hopefully you guys saw that. That took a while for me to even, you know, get them all bunched up together, and uh, yeah, do some insane damage. So, that's all you really want to do. Alright, I'm done. And if you don't know what I was talking about, about Vazarin, the school lens, then here it is. This is Vazarin, and this is all about healing and make you invulnerable, right? I really like the Mending Soul, and this is not important to this, but basically this revives an instant revive, all right? You only get it four times, all right? And that's really just it. That's what I like about it. Okay, I think it's Void Region, all right? Void Mode heals health. And this ability costs at least blah, blah, blah. Um, sorry, this one. Protected Dash. Allies hit by Void Dash are granted immunity for 
um, damage for five seconds it healed 60% over this is the one all right protective dash this is what you want to get maxed and this is what uh, makes you invulnerable and it's really helpful all right I think it's also helpful for you yep it says it right there allies stupid you just read it so yeah helpful for your sentinel your pet like everything all right everybody everybody humans dog pet all that sh all right <laughs> all right it's helpful to everybody so yeah really really cool and that's why you have rolling guard in there as well so that's all also help you uh staying alive i mean some of you probably thought it was straight up trash i tried to actually do it the best i could and yeah it just it just went so left oh no wonder why we're actually doing less damage for this weapon we don't have any mods on it anyways hey you just keep taking my weapon that is really all for this video um if you guys did enjoy it let me know in the comments below and let me know about the build okay like <laughs> Because, like, I tried the best I could with that. And, yeah, just, it was so hard because they're, like, level 170. And they just kept wiping my ass out. So, yeah. If you guys really love Coma, uh, Chroma, not Coma. <laughs> if you guys really love Chroma, then hopefully this build should help you guys out. Um, you know, play around with him. Have some fun. But, yeah, just let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about, uh, thought about the build. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.